The first episode of The Rig opens with us on the Kinloch Bravo oil rig in the middle of the ocean, where we meet a large group of characters who are joking around, until they receive the roster for the men slated to work the following shift, that is, when Magnus arrives, he breaks the awful news. The helicopters were delayed by a power outage, and as a result, they are stranded there for a while. Alarms suddenly begin to sound overhead, forcing the gang to dive. It appears that something has blown, and Charlie Station across the street is having issues as well. Magnus is joined by Alwyn and Rose as they reach a decision and stop the drills. Although Magnus admits he followed the rules exactly to avoid any potential deaths, Rose is not pleased because she thinks the safeties would have held and is displeased that he hasn't listened. Despite stopping the drills, the region is still shaken severely. They look outside and see a huge wave of fog sweeping over them. It covers the drilling platform and transforms it into a terrifying nightmare reminiscent of Silent Hill. The crew tries to determine precisely what caused the second wave of tremors because they know that the helicopters won't be returning. They can only speculate without data from the beach, and these weather anomalies don't help. Baz collapses at the communications tower after his harness comes loose from the railings above. He is barely still breathing. He needs to be transported to the mainland since he has internal wounds. At the rig, they can't really operate on him, and one of the workers, Hutton, is furious. He has been a live wire throughout the entire show, and now he snaps and runs outdoors to seek some fresh air. While Rose checks the monitors back in the office, the group rushes to get a stretcher to rescue Baz. There is an issue. The line back to the beach ought presumably still be pumping even if they've shut off their well but it isn't. None of them are, in actuality. Everything in the field has been affected by whatever is causing this. Hutton rushes inside to see Magnus because he is upset with the rig workers for doing nothing. He demands that helicopters be dispatched and assumes accountability. When Magnus departs, Hutton starts poring over office papers and finds something that could fundamentally alter things. Following this, Hutton gathers the troops at the helipad and informs them that management is lying and leaving Baz to perish. Hutton demands the truth when Magnus and Rose arrive. Magnus eventually stands up and admits the truth because we are aware that they have been lying to the workforce. Kinlock Bravo has concluded. These guys won't have jobs for very long since Pictor, the firm in charge of them, will close the entire field and all the rigs. The episode analysis. Both literally and figuratively, the start of the rig is not the best. The premise is intriguing enough on its own, and Amazon's newest series has the foresight to really play it safe and withhold some information up front. All of that is fantastic, but the story undermines it. The force disputes between all of these characters, the typical amount of manufactured character drama, and the unexpectedly subpar production design are all present. It is obvious that this was recorded and shot on a set, and some of the sequences, particularly those exterior cuts on the actual equipment, look awful. The CGI work in Thor, Love and Thunder might be compared to some of the establishing shots introducing characters and zooming inside windows. Despite this, the story's idea is intriguing, so you should persevere with it to find out what happens next. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.